Hi there, guys. This is um, Tom from On The Road, and welcome to the first video of our YouTube channel slash tutorial program. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching this and taking the time. So this channel um, and this tutorial program is going to be built around um, how-tos for everything Shopify, building apps, building customizations on themes, building actual sites and themes. And then also we will eventually get into more custom stuff like headless builds and and then also top tips and advice on e-commerce brands and websites and how you can um, increase your average order value um, and sales, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. But I just thought for the first video, let's start off with development, um, app development, and let's start very basic with how to how to set up your template um if you're gonna um build and deploy um a shopify app so first thing is first is you're gonna need a shopify partner account um so we go here this is my shopify partner account um that we use for all our clients um again you can access your stores referrals apps themes and everything else in here um, so if you haven't got one of those, I would suggest um, to go and set one up. I'll leave a um, link in the description. So assuming that you've done that, the next stage is actually the development stage. Um, and you've got to make sure that you've got the Shopify CLI installed. So I'm not going to go into how to or where to download these, but if you follow this link, this which I'll copy and paste in the description again, um, your requirements are Homebrew, Node.js, Ruby, and Git installed onto your device um, before you can even install the Shopify CLI. Assuming you've done that, um, copy and paste this into your terminal if you've got a Mac OS. Um, if you've got other platform like Windows and Linux, Linux, um, then you want to copy and paste this into your terminal. We're going to do everything on Mac OS. Um, so, yeah, if you copy and paste that into your terminal, that will install the Shopify CLI. I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to show you that, but it's pretty straightforward. It might take a while to download. Um, and if you guys need me to do a video on how to install that, I'm more than happy um to do that for you just leave a comment and um i will um let you know how to do that so assuming that you've installed the shopify cli the next part which i will walk through you is to install um and download the shopify app template so again you want to go to this link here um shopify's documentation is really good by the way in terms of guiding you through this um, I'll copy and paste this link in the description again. Um, so if we just go to this just below here, um, quick start. So you, all we want to do is just copy and paste this into our terminal. Uh, yes. So once that's installed, guys, you just want to name um, this file something appropriate for your project. So again, I'm just going to call this app test because this is literally what we're doing. We're um, installing an app in the test mode. Again, here you want to start with Remix. And then we're just going to choose JavaScript for the moment. It doesn't really matter. JavaScript, TypeScript, you guys pick. So, yes, guys, that would take a while for it to download. Potentially it did for me. That's no problem at all. So once that's downloaded, we want to um, um, open that in our um, code editor. So I use Visual Studio Code. So, guys, once you've opened the file in Visual Studio Code, it look, should look something like this or whatever code editor you're, you're using. Um, so here we go into app. We've got all the uh, basic files that we're gonna need in the future. I'll, walk, I'll run through some of these in a minute. Um, but let me quickly direct you to this link here. So through all this, it kind of describes different locations in this file. 
um, for the remix template and describes what's going on. Um, but I'm going to quickly run through it with you um, now. So this is your remix template app. Um, essentially, until we can go into a high level explanation, this is what you're going to need to build your app, whatever it is, um, which we will do in further videos down the line. Um, but let me just, if we now go into the term, we've got MBM run dev. So now that's the question, we want to create it as an app, which we do, or we want to connect it to an assistant app. Again, I don't want to connect it to any of my other assistant apps because then they're currently being ruined for um, current clients. So we're going to create a new app and we call it app test just to keep everything in sync. Um, I'm going to install it onto my test dummy store, which is plus post purchase. When we run it into dev mode, um, if we go to the Shopify app tunnel file, um, this is what it uses to um, populate the um, app um, when it's on your Shopify store and what helps it run. Um, if we click automatically update, it means this link will always change when we run it in MBM run dev. So in dev mode. Um, Sometimes you just need to be careful of this when you deploy it um, live and into um, actually production mode. Um, but obviously for the moment, when you're in test mode, this is a very handy tool to keep it automatically updated because the URL will change when you do MVM run dev every time. Um, so we're gonna go yes. Now we can preview in our browser. So here we, um, it's opened our Shopify store. Um, and is asking us to install our app. So we're going to go install. And we should be able to see the console log here as well of everything going on whilst it installs it onto our app and onto our store. And there we are. So you've installed, so you've basically set up currently and installed your first app onto your test store. MBM run deploy, which will publish it to our um, Shopify partner private apps, which then we can host on Shopify. So that has been deployed, lovely. So we go to partner accounts, apps, and then we'll see here, that our app has been deployed to Shopify, our client ID and client secrets, which we will need to use here. Ah, so what we need, we need a Shopify app URL. So I'm doing. Um, and we need the Shopify app secret. I'm pretty sure that's it. So this will help um, the Shopify app function run, um, which we will need when we do more complex apps um, like post purchase checkouts. I'm sure those values are there. Um, Now this app is live on our store and if we go on to generate a product, you can see it's fully working here, which is pretty cool. So yeah, hopefully that's helpful. That list is literally the first step to get you guys on board on to creating and deploying Shopify apps. We will cover a whole load more. Um, it's at least a five, five video step to get to your first app to be deployed. Um, there are several stages, but this is the first stage you need to go through and then you can work your way through there. Um, yeah, so thank you guys. Thanks for watching.